Hey everybody, what's going on? My name is Jesse, also known as Sublime, and in today's video, we got a good one. We recently joined a multi-table tournament, and we made it, um, I'm not gonna spoil anything actually, but we're playing in a multi-table tournament, it's gonna be a great video. Now before the tournament starts, I wanna say if you guys haven't joined the Discord, make sure you guys join that down below. We got tons of things going on in there, um, an awesome community. Um, and just multiple things gonna happen later on so join that guys and enjoy the video So we start off here with an ace four and one thing I do want to preface before we kind of get into things is that These are all gonna be my highlights and my lowlights on this table. So You know just because you see um, All this winning doesn't mean that I wasn't winning every hand I was in there's gonna be some uh, losing hands in this um in this video but majority of it's gonna be winning so I just want to tell you guys that now so we get an ace four here off suit and a big blind um, I call it or yeah I think I just I think uh, I think I just called it uh, we immediately get an a uh, four on the flop uh, so we're pairing up our fours but a second highest pair on the board um, you know with a four six three if somebody had a five two or a a 5-7 they're immediately beating us there's multiple straight draws on the board um you know if we hit a two and a if we hit a two and a five then we have a straight there's so much going on on this board so um but we do have a pair of fours papa jerry bets it up to 45 i call mr burt 42 calls um options back on to me another nine comes out or a nine comes out not another one but uh and then another another four comes out actually sorry <laughs> we hit our trips i check papa jerry checks as well everybody checks papa jerry was betting our so i thought he was gonna bet again but he ended up not doing that and then we get a seven seven here on the button uh so everybody's folding folding away Bra braille of thor raises it up to 400 Derek for real ends up folding it away I look at my cards for a second. I say, you know what, lucky sevens. Let's give it a call. Mr. Bird has to call, or doesn't end up calling. Papa Jerry, looking at his cards, looking at his cards. He ends up calling it. Show MM, he's looking at his cards. He ends up calling it as well too. The flop comes out, king, four, nine. Two hearts on the board. Um, we don't have a pair for nothing. We have the third highest on the board. Uh, I look at my cards. I say, you know what? I'm gonna end up calling you. He goes all in for 1,040. I think he was a little bit tilted. Not 100% sure though. Another diamond pops out, so there's a 10 there. Then there's a three. He's going crazy. And he has pocket aces, so we lost our lucky sevens to, to pocket aces. So we're sitting at around 245 chips. Now this is where it gets interesting. Immediately the hand after we get pocket queens. Right, so now I'm in a position where it's like, okay, I just lost with pocket sevens. I just lost like a big hand. I lost almost, you know, 80% of what my chip stack was. So here's what I do. I'm thinking of a plan. I say, you know what? Let's look like I am snap all in. Like I'm a little bit tilted. Um, and hopefully get some callers. It's not an unreasonable raise, especially for a multi-table tournament at $245. Last time the guy went in for $400, so I was thinking at this table, you know, this isn't really unreasonable. There was four callers last time. Papa Jerry ends up calling it. Show MM ends up calling it. Calco the first, he folds it. Braille of Thor folds it. So we got a three-way. The flop comes out nine, two, four. All of hearts, I'm like, oh shit. I'm like, oh shit, please no, please no, don't don't let me lose to a flush. They both end up going all in too, so there's three side pots now. Um, another heart comes out, but they both have diamonds. And then a queen pops out. I end up winning it, I do a little fist bump for celebration. The balloons start raining down on me. Uh, we end up coming home with 775. So it wasn't terrible. But... Um, but immediately after that hand, we get pocket nine. So we got three pairs in a row. I'm looking like, what the fuck is this? Three pairs in a row? So I end up snapping all in again. <laughs> uh, all in for 775. I guess people started wising up to my little game here. 
So, uh, everybody just ended up folding, and that guy was talking a little bit of smack to me, so I ended up showing my card saying, look, I had nine nines, I had to, I had to. <laughs> we then get a 10-8 here, uh, we have about 825 now, just from losing it to blinds and all that, or just from gaining it from blinds and all that sort of jazz. I end up calling for 20. I'm not in any special position here, I'm kind of out of position to be even calling with a 10-8, but... You know, I saw a little light at the end of the tunnel with this hand. And, uh, it comes out King, Jack, 10. We got four people in the pot. We got Braille, Athor, Mr. Burton, Calico the first. Um, I end up betting 30, minimum bet. He ends up raising it to 100. Calico the first ends up folding. Braille, Athor ends up folding. We're now heads up between me and the guy. And I, I end up snapping all in. Thought he would fold. He didn't. I said, hey, you probably got this. Um, he shows a king, queen. A nine shows up. And a queen shows up. Thank fuck that that queen showed up. Because uh, I would have lost if that queen didn't show up. So we end up splitting the pot 50-50. And uh, I get to stay in this tournament and live for another day. We get an a7 here out of position again. Um, it's off suit. Nothing special. But it's an ace. I mean, we gotta play the ace, right? If we even get like an ace or we get a seven, we have the highest pairs of seven on the board. And I really like my sevens. It's won me a lot of hands. Um, and yeah, I just like playing the ace seven. Uh, I don't like how it's not uh, uh, like it's off suit, but it's whatever. The flop comes out nine king ace with ace and king being of the spade descent. Um, but we do match our aces up. We have a fairly decent kicker, so I end up betting a hundred. Um, one guy ends up folding, Papa Jerry ends up calling it, Smoky Oven, what is he gonna do, he folds it away, Braille of Thor ends up folding it as well, it's heads up between me and Papa Jerry again, um, I have a pair of aces now, so it's become more likely that I, I'm the only one who has an ace, and maybe he has a king, um, I raise it up to 200, Papa Jerry calls it, uh, and then a two comes out of spades, he keeps checking it, I snap all in, I was ready to go out in the blade of glory. He has to go all in for 350, so regardless, I would have uh, stayed in this tournament a little bit longer if I would have lost, but he didn't end up calling it. He ended up folding, and we get to take home a little pot. Now we're sitting at around 1160. We get pocket sixes here in the big blind. Uh, so this is, what, our fourth pair now that we've had in this stable? Um, even getting pairs is pretty rare, so seeing it t four times now, in the matter of, I would say, the blinds now are 25.50, so it was fairly, like, early on in the tournament, too. It was kind of crazy. I raised it up to 250, though. Smoky Oven calls it. Calico the First calls it. Brailethor calls it. What is Derek gonna do? What is Derek gonna do? Derek ends up calling it as well. We got five people in on this pot, and we have pocket sixes. The flop comes out five, king, ace, not what we want to see. He ends up checking. I snap all in, though. I want to show that I'm the alpha dog. Maybe I had ace, king to begin with. This is one where I was actually pretty nervous. Um, but we had five people call on a $150 bet. I wanted those chips so badly. That I went all in, I made people make the harsh decision, and especially early on in this tournament, you don't want to risk 900, especially with so many people in the tournament, so I ended up winning, and I shaking my head, hell yeah. We're now sitting at 1940 in chips, and we get king 8 off suit. Um, we're now, I think, uh, fourth or third place on the table in chips, not in the tournament, not at all, but um, we're sitting at about 2,000 in chips, king 8 off suit. You know, it's not the strongest hand to play, but for sure, it's a fairly decent hand, especially if you hit a king or if you hit an eight, you got, uh, yeah, something pretty good. The flop comes out two, three, four, though. Um, now the reason why I bet here, I didn't, like, I'm trying to bet and I can't seem to bet. I end up throwing out a bet minimum for 60. The reason why I bet was because there was a dude there who, uh, who was not at the table, so I thought he was still in it, so I ended up betting. But we hit an 8 on the turn. There's three spades though, so I made my bet fairly small. It's me versus Calico here. Now I throw out a bet here for about 100. 
Calco, what are you going to do, Calico? He ends up calling it for 100 as well. We have the highest pair on the board, and look what we do. It gets us a win. We're now sitting at around 2100, and we get a jack 10 on the big blind here. It's, uh, you know, it's a fairly nice place to play on the big blind. It lasts to act. Um, you get to kind of dictate how the table plays because uh, you're always the last one to act. Everybody just keeps throwing their cards away. He didn't mean to bet. Um, but I have a jack 10 here, so I'm not afraid to bet. It's fairly decent hand, especially for straight draws and all that. I raise it up to 150. Calco the first, again. He calls. Derek for real is... He's doing something. He's fucking around with that axe over there. Don't really know what he's doing. I'm trying to point to him saying, hey, it's, it's your go. I'm trying to hit his hands, telling them, hey, it's you know time to go. He just ends up folding it, though. And now uh, we're heads up against Calco again. The flop comes out 7-jack-7. Seven, seven. We hit a pair of jacks. The only thing I'm worried about is if he has a 7. I raise it up to 125. He calls it. A 6 comes out. So there's two hearts on the board now. I raise it again to 200. Um, Calco ends up calling it. Uh, and then a 5 comes out. So maybe he has like an 8-4. I, I don't see him doing that. So I push him all in. I have a pair of jacks. Calco ends up folding it. I show him I had a pair of jacks. And away we go. We're now up to about 2,750. We get 7-9 suited here. Now, what are we going to do with this hand? Everybody just keeps folding it. Everybody's just, uh, you know, having a good old time. Calco. It's me against Calco again, actually. <laughs> Funny enough. Um, it's 7-9. I got a pair of 7s now on a turn. Um, I end up raising it to, uh, 150. Calico ends up calling it again. We're waiting here for the, uh, river to come out. That was kind of glitching a little bit. And a four comes out, so unless he has a queen, he's beaten us. Or a four. I end up raising it to 250. Calco folds immediately. Didn't like what he saw. I bet she was going for the diamonds, and we end up taking that pot home. We're sitting at 3380 now. We get 5-6 suited here. I call for 150. Smoky oven folds. Calco the first calls it. Brailathor, he checks. The flop comes out six, jack six. We got a three of a kind right on the flop. Two clubs, though. I end up throwing out a bet for 150. Minimum bet. Calco the first. He calls it. Or he raises it to 400. I raise it up to 850. And he just ends up folding it, showing you had a pair of four or a pair of fours. I showed him that I had two sixes, and uh, that I had the three of a kind. Um, we have Ace Two here on a big blind suited and dime are suited in hearts. Just waiting for my turn. Everybody's going around escaping real four twenty, escaping reality. Sorry, four twenty ends up calling. Oven folds, Calco folds, Brailathor calls, I check, because I'm on the big blind. The flop comes out 799. We both end up checking it, waiting on reality here. Uh, he checks as well. We get in a pair of aces on the on the turn. I bet 150. My guy was glitching out there. Escaping reality ends up folding it. Brailathor ends up folding it. We win that pot. Um, I show my cards. I had a pair of aces because Brailathor was kind of, uh, you know, sitting there grinding my gears a little bit. Uh, but the next hand afterwards, we get moved to another table uh, because we're doing so well. And we get um, we get Ace King here to start off on the table. So I end up throwing out a bet. I'm fairly new to the table. Um, I'm talking to guys. Uh, actually, the guy I was talking to was a subscriber. So if you're watching this video, hello. I was sitting at a multi-table tournament with them. I told them to shh because uh, people didn't know that uh, I was making a video on the table and I don't really want people to play differently if they know I'm making a video. Uh, so if you do see me in like a multi-table tournament, you can say, hey, what's up, Sublime, blah, blah, blah. Uh, please don't uh, say that you're watching my YouTube videos. 
don't get me wrong, I love the support, but um, especially when I'm trying to make a video or I'm trying to play strategically against people, I don't want them to know that I'm a YouTuber. So, um, but all was good. I bet it up to a thousand here. We only got one caller on our last bet. Uh, we have an ace king. This guy's taking a while to uh, decide. What does he do? What does he do? Ooh, I didn't mean to burp there, but he shows he had a king 10. I showed him I had a king ace king and I had him beat on the high card, which was good. Now this hand was a little interesting. I had 7-7 seven, seven here. Um, lucky 7s as I like to say. I'm going through the menu seeing how many chips exactly I have and what I can do with these uh, with this 7-7 uh, seven, seven set I got. This guy Energy Jax ends up going all in for 2,000. Merciless T folds Captain Rain. What does he do? He ends up folding actions onto me. I have 7-7. Seven seven. I end up calling it. I say, I feel lucky with the 7s. What's going to pop up on the river? And he shows he has 10-10. Ten, ten. And I say, oh my goodness. So it comes out Ace-Queen-9. And on a turn, we hit a 7. We get the 3 of a kind. And then the king comes out on the river. We take that pot home. We gain an extra $5,100. And now, uh, now we're sitting at, uh, after a couple bad beats... We're sitting at 5,350, so we're kind of back to where we started. We get 10 8 though here on the button. I end up raising it to 950. Uh, it's a typical three bet, like it, it's 350 now for the uh, for the bets. This guy ends up snapping all in. He has about how much did he go all in for? He has about 1925. And look at Braille Thor ended up making to this table as well. I end up call, calling him to go all in. He chose he has a four jack suited. Comes out three, six, seven. Then a ten shows up. We're matching our tens. Then a six comes out. So we end up taking that home as well. The guy beside me was awesome lad. He was fairly nice. And uh, we ended up taking that pot home. We're now sitting at around 7150. And we get an ace queen here on... We're not in any special position. We're just sitting kind of in the middle of the table. Um, I call for 450 because that's the blinds at this point now. We got Goosh, the dev, on this table. So that was exciting to see. Uh, he didn't talk much, though. And the times I have played with him, he's pretty talkative. But uh, this time he wasn't. So it's whatever. Uh, Merciless T, the option's on to him now. He checks. It's a three-way pot now. We got Ted Mosby, myself, and Merciless T. It comes out Queen Jack 4. Merciless T ends up going all in for 4,250. Ted Mosby folds. I snap call for 4,250. Uh, he shows he has a 10 queen. I have an ace queen. So we're beating him on the kicker. And unless a 10 shows up, he doesn't win. But And a 10 didn't show up, so we ended up taking that pot home. We're now sitting on... What are we sitting on now? We're sitting on 11,150. So we went from 275 chips to 11,150. We get a 4-6 here suited on the big blind. Now this was probably one of the hardest hands I've played, especially in a multi-table tournament. We immediately flop a straight. So I end up throwing out a bet for 1,500. Um... You know, I was just like, oh my god, we flopped a straight, but there's two clubs on the board. I wanted to play it safe. I wished it was rainbow. I, I really wish it was rainbow because another three ended up coming out. So we're beating a three of a kind. We're beating a pair uh, of any sorts, um, but we're not beating a flush. This guy snaps all in for 9,600 or for 16,350. I have to make a decision here to call for 9,650. I flopped a straight, but I ultimately ended up folding because I did not want to play around with the flush. I wanted to see his cards. He ended up showing he had a 2-3 of spades, and we would have won that hand if we called. Um, but nonetheless, we get a king jack here on the button. We're now sitting at around 8,375. Uh... 
you know, there, I'm still beat up about that hand that I lost on the straight. I thought we played that pretty good, doing the small little bet of 1500, but nothing came of it. Uh, but we do end up hitting a king here on the. We do end up hitting, sorry, we do end up hitting a king here on the flop um, with a jack kicker. Uh, Skrilla ends up betting 600. I end up calling, or I end up re raising it to 3000. Uh, he re-raises that to 2,900. He goes all in. Whistle ends up folding it. I call it. And he shows that he has a jack queen. Another king shows up. We have three of a kind. But then the card we didn't want to see an A shows up. We played that hand so well. Um, just to lose on a river like that. Um, goddamn river rats, I tell you. But nonetheless, um, we're sitting now at 2,075. Uh, we have pocket eights here in a small blind, so fairly decent hand. Um, we got Kronos Diamond, who ended up calling for 800. A Newt folds. Ted Mosby folds. Whistle folds. I call all in for 2,075. Skrilla looks at his cards, sitting on all my chips that I just gave him. He ends up calling me. What is Kronos Diamonds going to do? He looks at uh, he looks at Skrilla's chips, and he just ends up calling it. We get a Jack-6 Queen here on the flop. Then a 4 comes out on the turn. Not looking too bright for us. We got two over pairs on us. And then a 3 comes out as well. They, they're both checking, so I'm hoping they're, draw they're drawing dead on these cards. And in fact, they are... I end up taking the pot home. I have 8,825 now. And this is the hand that ends it all. You get a queen jack offsuit. And to be honest with you guys, my girlfriend kind of just walked in the room at this time. She wanted to watch some TV with me. So <laughs> in my uh, expert position, I was like, let's try... I said to her, if I go all in and I win, I'm going to continue with this tournament. If I go all in and lose, we'll watch some Netflix. And uh, as you guys know, this is where it ended off. I ended up losing this hand. I'll let you guys watch that. But um, I do want to say, join a Discord, guys. Um, there'll be a lot of um, there'll be a lot of fun things going on in there. We're going to host more tournaments. We're going to host a lot more giveaways. Um, and yeah. You guys are truly some of the best fans on YouTube. Thank you guys for putting up with my nonsense and uh, just being some of the best fans out there. Uh, truly, you guys make this a dream come true. And I want to thank you guys so much. Hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Hope you all all stay safe out there. And uh, yeah, go have fun on the tables. Go win some hands and uh, just stay safe out there. Bye bye now.